You know, like I felt that we we played many great games in uh, you know since the start of the year, but more importantly, in the last couple of weeks and tonight, I really believe that you know, like we played like like I would say our most complete game in in a long time. Like not that the others were not good tonight. You know, like I'm so proud of our four lines, our six Ds. Uh, Jonas Saylor came up with some big saves at, at the right time. So, you know, like it's a big team win. It feels great. Little things occurred throughout the game, like Michael Furlan's first career goal and at a big time, and he finished well. Mm -hmm. Comments on that? Yeah, no, like it's uh, it's a great week for Michael Furlan. You know, like looking at uh, on the personal side, and then you know, like uh, on hockey side, you know, like uh, this is a great young man. You know, like he he has so much to offer, and you know, once he's gonna, you know, like figure out like pro hockey, you know, like he's gonna be a big part of us. So like uh, you know. It's, Matt Stajan played a great game with those two kids, with Shore and Furley, and uh, you know, like everyone played well. Well, you know, like it's tomorrow's another challenge. Like that's the beauty, win or lose, you know, you have to, you know, like wind up the big machine again. And tomorrow we, you know, like it's it's also our situation. We can't afford to to take a night off. Like uh, we're, you know, we're challenging the players to win every game right now. And tonight, like they responded with a great effort. So tomorrow we're going to put our faith again, you know, like in the players. And, uh, you know, like we'll see what what will tomorrow will bring to us. But what do you learn about your group and I guess also your individuals when you're so clear about the fact it's a must win game? Yeah, well, you know, like I, I, I know this group a long time ago, you know, like I, you know, I'm not surprised with the performance. I'm not surprised with the effort. Like, uh, that's who we are. You know, like, so you look at our leadership group, you look at our captain, he's, he's in the room and he's helping out guys and the veterans are doing a great job with the kids. You know, like the young players are excited, so you put all this together, like we take it on the ice and we do our best. Lance Boma kind of typifies all of that, doesn't he, Bob? Yeah, no, like Lance is, uh, you know, like Lance is, you know, like our, our soldier out there. You know, like he's, uh, you know, he's very, he's very consistent. He's hard to play against. He's not fun to play against. And you know, like he comes up like with two big efforts, and you know, like he ends up with uh, two big goals. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, you, you you look at other teams, you trust your gut, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, you know, like it's all about, you know, like sometimes you think about chemistry and I, I challenge Jacques and I challenge Marty, I talk with Brad, I talk with uh, Jamie Pringle, so, you know, like it's all, we're, we're a team and it's all about trying to make the best possible decisions, but, you know, like I'm real glad for Furley. Give us any sort of update on Paul Byron. Yeah, like uh, you know, like uh, he wasn't feeling good this uh, this morning, so like we decided to uh, you know like uh, to to sit him out. And Michael Granlin, like like we told you yesterday, was sick with the flu, and you know like today he was still not good enough. So like uh, we'll uh, we'll make a decision on both uh, both guys tomorrow. Byron a setback of the same thing he was no it's just just pain you know like it's just pain he's a warrior and you know like yeah, he wanted to go we made the decision for him